Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a set that I had recently picked up on Amazon. Jurassic Park just so happens to be one of my favorite movies of all time. And this set is one of the most iconic scenes in the movie. So I figured, hey, let's pick this up. It's on sale and do a review on it. Before we get into the time lapse, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. It really helps out the channel and allows us to keep making videos just like this. So with that, let's get into the time lapse. In this entire video, I've been calling it a Velociraptor, and it is actually a Dilophosaurus. So I apologize in advance for my mistake. I think one of the most iconic scenes from this movie is the Velociraptors, and I just completely blanked that this was actually a Dilo and not a Raptor. So I apologize, and that is my disclaimer for this video. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. So the first stage of the build was this raptor, and basically all you're doing is putting the bottom jaw on his teeth, but it's per on his, on his basically you're just putting the bottom jaw on his mouth, but it's pretty cool that you can actually open and close his jaw, and there's actually molded teeth on the inside. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like that it's multi-color molded and very detailed, so I'm sure this wasn't cheap, but um, this set I purchased for $14.99 or $15.99. Normally it retails for $19.99, um, but since it was on sale, like I said, I decided to pick it up. In the actual Jeep itself, that build was pretty cool. I really enjoyed the I really enjoyed the simplicity of it, honestly. Um, the bottom is mostly system. There's not a lot of Technic pieces holding it together. I like that the top can come off and you can get access to Dennis here and see the driving. I like that there is a little uh, a little stick shift in there that just gives it a little bit of extra detail. The rear is pretty much open, right? It only has that sand green color. There's not much in there. That would have been cool to have a little bit of details in there, but for the most part, I think it did a um, pretty good job of representing the Jurassic Park Jeep. I did have one coral with all of the stickers I think this one in particular, I didn't necessarily put it on completely straight. Some of the other ones I probably didn't get completely straight either. But to keep the cost down, obviously, for $16, I will be okay with stickers. Um, the rest of it, yeah, it came together really, really pretty well. Um, the most confusing part was this front piece for me. I put it on backwards, but I recognized it pretty quickly and then fixed it. It wasn't too bad. I will say, I think some of the dashboard is actually scratched. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but it yeah it didn't really come completely clear, but it's not coming up on camera, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I did like that it has the fifth wheel, like typical Jeeps, um, and yeah, it's pretty detailed, honestly, for, for the cost. I think this is a pretty pretty good set. The, the actual Jeep, like I said, looks pretty cool. I can compare it to the Ford Explorer here in a bit, but let's take a look at Dennis. Oops, I pulled off his hair. Let's take a look at this guy here. He has print torso. His legs are not print. They're just the uh, light brown or whatever. The back, you can see he's got a little hoodie on. And then, yeah, nice little print. He's got the little Jurassic Park logo on his jacket with his ID badge. And then he also has a front and a back head. So in the scene, he gets doused with the raptor venom. So you can play that scene out too. So you can put him on. I guess like this, where he's out trying to collect the Barbasol can that he wrecked and uh, basically gets sprayed by the Raptor. So that's pretty cool that you can have it in multiple scenes. So that's Dennis himself. Pretty cool. Pretty simple, honestly. There's not too much going on here, but I really like the simplicity of it. Honestly, this is a great set for someone who wants to pick up a Jurassic Park set for cheap and you get a brand well i don't know if it's brand new but you get a pretty cool raptor um and it's dual molded and has a flexible jaw so that's pretty cool 
Um, this set also comes with a little external build. And honestly, if I had any quarrel with it, I honestly, it would be this. I would be more than okay with this set being, say, $15 normally, right? Not on sale, but normally without this little extra build. I think it adds a little bit of extra playability for young young children. But at the same time, I don't necessarily need this. I'm probably just going to use this as a display piece. And this is probably going to get parted out eventually. That being said, right, like for playability, it's really nice because you can actually drive over this. And this uh, little tower is made to be knocked over. It's just held in place by a 2x2 two two with a stud on the bottom there. And then a little bit of a fun feature from the movie, this sign actually spins around. So you don't actually know exactly which direction the e-stock is. Um, and I like that the I like that the print is very Jurassic Park esque. I I think that's a pretty cool detail. Not that they couldn't have excluded it. I think it's kind of expected, but it is cool nonetheless that they did their due diligence to make sure it looked good at least. And then my favorite part I think is probably this Barbasol can. I think that's so cool. It's got the little opening on the top for the shaving cream to come out, and then. Yeah, the Barbasol logo printed on the side. I think that's a pretty cool detail to add to this because that was the whole point of the scene was he was trying to get the to get the dinosaur DNA off the island using the Barbasol can and then it got knocked out of the car and then the whole scene happens for him to finally get uh, eaten in the end. Anyway, so I uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video about this. Jurassic Park Jeep. I love the Jurassic Park movie. I love that these sets came out. Kind of looking forward to picking maybe one or two of the other ones that have gone on sale up here in the future. I think they're a great piece to display. And then also just, I mean, I'm an avid fan of Jurassic Park, so I have to collect them all. But I think this set in particular, I think this set in particular is great for young children or someone who's getting into Lego because it's pretty cheap honestly and you get some pretty cool playability and also get some cool figures out of it now if we're comparing this is a little dusty so um <laughs> please bear that in mind but if we're comparing the jurassic park jeep to the jurassic park ford explorer they both do a really good job of looking like what they're supposed to and i know that doesn't explain it very well but um again this is from the t-rex breakout set and this is from obviously this set here um, but this clearly is a jeep you can see that it has the iconic grill it has the jp like jeep look it's got the hood that's slightly higher than the rest of the hood just like a jeep it's got the iconic rear tire it's got the canvas it's got the canvas drop top you know it's got the roll cage the whole nine yards it's pretty accurate and looking at the ford explorer from the other set i think it does a pretty good job as well of being iconic to the Forks Ford Explorer in the movie. I will say though, if I had to choose one over the other, just in terms of which is better, I kinda lean towards the Ford Explorer just because of the colors, not actually because of the build or anything. I just think that the stickers are slightly cooler and the fact that they have the Jurassic Park logo. Um, I guess technically so do these, but it's uh, so small that the print actually doesn't ever show up. Anyway, um, besides the point. But, in this one, right, it's got the massive Jurassic Park logo. This one's just got the little small one on the side. But in general, like I said, I think I would choose this one, but just because of the color, I am a Jeep person through and through. And if I was picking a vehicle between the two that wasn't color related, I would probably pick the Jeep. So that was my review of the Dilophosaurus Ambush set number 76958 for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.